today we're going to learn about cumulative songs. I want you to think about snow. What starts out with a flake turns into a dusting, maybe an inch or several inches that add up to feet. After a while, one snowflake becomes a large pile. Music can work the same way. A cumulative song starts with a short verse and adds new pieces to each additional verse. For example, The Twelve Days of Christmas is a popular cumulative song that adds new gifts in each verse. It starts with one partridge in a pear tree and ends with 12 days worth of presents. Cumulative songs are fun because they get longer, but they could even be useful in training yourself to remember things. We could do this with poems, but adding music makes them more memorable because it's easier for our brains to store melody. A cumulative song could be a shopping list. Yes, you could actually write a song out of a real shopping list. I need some milk. I'm going to the store. I'll be back home just after four. When you're going to the store, can you buy some bread? And don't forget the milk. I need some milk. I'm going to the store. I'll be back home just after four. When you're going to the store, can you buy some bread and butter too? And don't forget the milk. I need some milk. I'm going to the store. I'll be back home just after four. When you're going to the store, can you buy some bread and butter too? And jam. And don't forget the milk. I need some milk. I'm going to the store. I'll be back home just after four. Each verse adds an additional item with a chorus in between. When you're going to the store, can you buy some bread and butter too? And jam and eggs and chocolate and vegetables and cheese and yogurt, etc. And don't forget the milk. And the song might even have a little joke at the end, like, I went to the store to get some milk and bread and butter too and jam and eggs and chocolate and vegetables and cheese and yogurt, etc. But then I forgot the milk. I guess I'll have to go back for more. Maybe a cumulative song could list your birthday party invitations. My birthday's in a couple of days. Time to make the invitations. Who should I invite? Hazel. My birthday's in a couple of days. Time to make the invitations. Who should I invite? Hazel and June. My birthday's in a couple of days. Time to make the invitations. Who should I invite? Hazel and June and Hayden, etc. Until your entire class is listed. Maybe it could help you remember how to add or multiply. Or you could recall facts for your history quiz. Perhaps it can keep your focus during your exercise routine. Can't remember a video game cheat code? Try a song. A cumulative song might help you count your accumulated money. What are three ideas of what you might turn into a cumulative song? The song that inspired this lesson plan is actually a song I'm working on with the 5th and 6th grade chorus. It's called The Rattlin' Bog, which is a traditional Irish cumulative song. I'm sending along a lyric sheet as well as a video. Try to follow along and sing the song. By the second or third verse, you should get the idea. Singing along with someone else's song made me really excited to try my own. Check out this song that I wrote today, and won't you join in? I am a person. I am a person. I have eyes. I am a person, I have eyes to help me see. I am a person, I have eyes to help me see that you're looking right at me. I am a person, I have eyes to help me see that you're looking right at me as I dance and I sing. I am a person, I have eyes to help me see that you're looking right at me as I dance and I sing. Won't you join in? I am a person, I have eyes to help me see that you're looking right at me as I dance and I sing. Won't you join in to show the world? I am a person, I have eyes to help me see that you're looking right at me 
As I dance and I sing, won't you join in to show the world to use their voice? I am a person, I have eyes to help me see that you're looking right at me. As I dance and I sing, won't you join in to show the world to use their voice, hands and feet? I am a person, I have eyes to help me see that you're looking right at me. As I dance and I sing, won't you join in to show the world to use their voice, hands and feet to join in? I am a person, I have eyes to help me see that you're looking right at me. As I dance and I sing, won't you join in to show the world to use their voice, hands and feet to join in to celebrate. I am a person, I have eyes to help me see that you're looking right at me. As I dance and I sing, won't you join in to show the world to use their voice, hands and feet to join in to celebrate community. We are the people, we have voices, hands and feet to spread love and unity. As we dance and we sing, won't you join in to show the world to use their voice, hands and feet to join in to celebrate community. Join in to celebrate community. The last thing we're going to do today is create your own cumulative song. Start by picking a topic. What do you want to sing about? Then, rhyme two lines to introduce your topic. You can treat this project as a poem or sing your words in a simple melody to make it a song. This is your chorus. It might repeat. Remember our examples. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Or, hey ho, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. Hey ho, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. Either draw pictures or write your first two lines in the chorus box provided on your worksheet. Does your song tell a story? Does your song make a list? Does your song help you remember something? Use the lines below to add phrases to your song. Start by filling in verse one. You can just put one line. Say it or sing it, and then go back to the chorus. After the chorus, fill in lines for verse two. Verse two will have two lines. You'll start by writing your new line, then repeat the line from verse one. Every additional verse, you write a new line, and then repeat all the lines from all the verses before it. So by the time you get to verse 6, you'll have a new line, the line from verse 5, the line from verse 4, the line from verse 3, the line from verse 2, and the line from verse 1. Then go back to the chorus. I hope you have fun.